Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're into AI video generation, you should know how fast things are moving in the AI space, and today, we've got something really exciting to talk about. We'll be exploring the latest 096 update to a model developed by the notable video generation studio, Lytrix, featuring their latest open source LTX Video 096 model. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you might remember I actually covered the very first version of Lytrix video model way back when it first came out. It was promising, but AI video has come a long way since then, and this new LTX V096 update is a significant leap forward when it comes to speed and quality. LTX Video is an open-source AI video generation model built on a diffusion transformer architecture, and this latest release is all about serious improvements. It operates under the OpenRail-M license, which is great news because it means you can use, modify, and even use the outputs for commercial purposes. Lytrix has released a distilled version that is reportedly up to 15 times faster, letting you generate high-quality videos in seconds with just 8 steps. The quality itself has also seen a bump, with better adherence to your prompts, smoother motion, and finer details in the output. Plus, the default output resolution has been increased to 1216 by 704 at 30 frames per second, giving you sharper, more fluid video right out of the gate. They've also added support for something called stochastic inference, which can further enhance the visual quality. This update also includes new nodes and updated example workflows, like the SDG Guider Advanced Node, giving you more control over the generation process. Honestly, people are reporting getting usable results almost 90% of the time on the first try, which is a huge improvement. Now, as always, we're going to be setting this up locally in Comfy UI. This model is actually integrated into the core Comfy UI code, which makes things a bit smoother. The cool part is, you don't need a super high-end rig to get started, you can actually run this new LTXV model with as little as 6 GB of VRAM. I've actually put together a custom LTX workflow that tweaks things a bit from the default setup. I think it does a really good job of improving the overall quality and consistency of the video generations, and I'll have that linked down in the comments section for you guys to grab. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to do to get this new LTX V096 model and my custom workflow up and running in Comfy UI step by step. And just a quick note for my Patreon members, I'll also be providing a one-click Windows installer over on my Patreon page. This will download and set up everything you need automatically, making the process even easier for you. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. So let's get started. I've put together two main paths for you depending on what you're looking for. First, if you're a member of my Patreon community and opted for the one-click Windows installer, things are incredibly simple. All you need to do is download the single batch file I've provided. Put this batch file into a dedicated empty folder. I'd recommend creating a new one just for this project. Once it's in place, double-click the LTX Video Comfy UI Bat file. This script is designed to do everything for you. It will download and install Comfy UI itself, all the necessary custom nodes for the workflow and even the models directly into that designated folder. It's completely self-contained. When the script finishes running, which might take a little time depending on your internet speed, all you have to do is start up Comfy UI by running the appropriate launch file. The web interface should automatically open in your default browser, usually pointing to a local host address and all that's left to do is to load in the workflow. Now that specific workflow included with the one-click installer also has a neat feature built in. The workflow is designed to let you leverage open source local models through Alama to help automatically create video prompts for your generations. If you have Alama installed and running, the workflow will detect it and list your downloaded models. Select your model and type your prompt in the text field above the selection. The node will then generate a detailed prompt for your video. If you prefer not to use the Gemini node, no worries at all. You can simply bypass it by right-clicking on it and selecting Bypass, 
and then just use the main positive prompt text box to add your custom prompt directly. You can find this one-click Windows installer and the workflow over on my Patreon page. Now, if you're going the manual route or just want to understand the setup process, we'll start from scratch. Of course, you'll need ComfyUI installed. I generally recommend the portable Windows zip file available in the ComfyUI release section on their GitHub repo, as it comes with everything pre-packaged. Just download it and use a file archiver like 7-zip to extract the contents onto your Windows machine. To make life a lot easier for installing the custom nodes we'll need, the ComfyUI manager is a must-have. To install it, open up a terminal or command prompt, navigate to your custom nodes folder inside your Comfy UI directory, and use git clone to download the Comfy UI Manager GitHub repository into that folder. Once it's cloned, you'll need to install its dependencies. If you're using a standard Comfy UI setup, you typically run pip install rrequirements.txt from the manager's folder. If you're using the portable Windows version, navigate back to your main ComfyUI portable directory, the one containing the Python embedded folder, and run this command, which I will leave down in the description below. This should take care of all the necessary dependencies for the manager node. Before we start ComfyUI, let's grab the main model file we need. Head over to the Lytrix Hugging Face page. I'll leave the direct link for the models down in the video description. Go to the Files and Versions tab, you'll see a few models listed there. The one we want and the one I've been testing with is the new 4-25 update, specifically the 096 distilled model. This distilled version is significantly faster than the base model. I've been able to run it without issues on my 6GB RTX 4050 card, and I'm seeing generation times of less than a minute for a 5-second video, which is honestly mind-blowing for the quality you get. You'll also need a T5 clip model for text encoding, but we can download that easily using the Comfy UI Manager once we have Comfy UI running. So, once you have the LTXV distilled model file downloaded, simply drag it into your Models Checkpoints folder within your Comfy UI directory. Now we're ready to fire up Comfy UI, start it up, and open the web UI in your browser. If you use the manual installation method, you'll want to download the workflow I linked in the description and drag that JSON file directly onto the ComfyUI web interface to load it. If you loaded the workflow and see any red nodes, don't panic. This just means you're missing a custom node that the workflow uses. Simply head over to the ComfyUI Manager button in the top right corner and click Install Missing Nodes. The manager will list the nodes you need. Install them one by one, and once you're done, click the Restart button in the manager's main menu to refresh ComfyUI and complete the installation of those new nodes. Also, remember that T5 clip model I mentioned. While you're in the manager, go to the Install Models section, search for Clip, and download the Comfy Anonymous FP8 Flux Text Encoder model. The model should be about 4-5 GB in size and will take a few minutes to download depending on your internet speeds. Once that download is complete, you close out of the manager window. Once everything is installed and Comfy UI has restarted, take a quick look at your model nodes in the workflow. Click the little arrows on the checkpoint loader and text encoder nodes to select the specific models we downloaded, the LTXV096 checkpoint and the anonymous T5 clip text encoder. Make sure everything looks correct. Now for the fun part, generating. If you're using the image to video workflow, which is what I've primarily focused on with my custom workflows, upload an image from your computer to the input image node. Then, type your positive prompt describing the video you want to create into the positive prompt text box. Hit Q prompt and let it do its magic. As I mentioned, the generation speeds with LTXV096 are probably the fastest I've seen for local video generation, especially considering the quality. Getting a 5 second video in under a minute is genuinely impressive. The model has really seen a huge improvement, particularly in its ability to handle image to video tasks, making it an excellent and incredibly fast option even for users with lower VRAM setups like 6GB cards. And that about wraps things up. 
Setting up LTX Video 096 in Comfy UI, whether through the streamlined one-click installer or the manual method, is totally achievable, even on modest hardware. The speed and quality improvements in this latest version are pretty incredible, making it a top contender for AI video creation right now. As always, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more AI explorations, and don't forget to check out the Patreon if you're interested in those easy installers and exclusive content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.